lumbar cerebrospinal fluid drainage, is effective in preventing vasospasm in aneurysmal subarachnoid hemorrhage. Cerebral vasospasm is a severe complication which causes mortality and morbidity in patients with aneurysmal subarachnoid hemorrhage. Several methods are available for the treatment of vasospasm caused postaneurysmal subarachnoid hemorrhage, but none of them have been effective. Research experts have proposed lumbar cerebrospinal fluid drainage to be an effective alternative to reduce the occurrence of cerebral vasospasm. The aim of the study was to analyze the efficacy of lumbar cerebrospinal fluid drainage in preventing the occurrence of cerebral vasospasm in patients with aneurysmal subarachnoid hemorrhage. Patients who had aneurysmal subarachnoid hemorrhage, Hunt and Hess grade 2 to 4, with ictus, within 10 days before hospital admission, were included in the study. Patients with evidence of raised intracranial pressure in the perioperative period, non-operated patients where the aneurysm is not secured, and patients having underlying intracranial mass lesions, such as hematoma, cerebral edema, or brain shift, were excluded from the study. Participants diagnosed with cerebral infections such as meningitis, patients with Hunt and Hess grade 1 and 5, subarachnoid hemorrhage, and patients undergoing coiling, were not included in the study. The prospective, randomized controlled trial included 60 patients. The subject were randomly categorized into Group 1 and Group 2, along with the standard treatment protocol for aneurysmal subarachnoid hemorrhage, lumbar cerebrospinal fluid drainage was performed in Group 1, whereas Group 2 patients underwent the regular protocol. The primary outcomes measured were clinical manifestation of cerebral vasospasm, vasospasm-related cerebral infarction, condition of the patient during discharge, and the Glasgow outcomes cause of patients at one month and three months. The secondary outcome measured were the duration of the stay of the patient in the intensive care unit and the overall hospital stay. The occurrence of vasospasm and vasospasm-related cerebral infarction was significantly higher in the patients who did not undergo lumbar cerebrospinal fluid drainage compared to those who underwent lumbar cerebrospinal fluid drainage. The Glasgow outcomes cause of the patients during discharge and at the end of one month follow-up period were higher in the patients with lumbar cerebrospinal fluid drainage group than in the non-lumbar cerebrospinal fluid drainage group. The study results indicate that lumbar cerebrospinal fluid drainage can significantly reduce the incidence of cerebral vasospasm and its consequences such as cerebral infarction in patients with aneurysmal subarachnoid hemorrhage.